Hey Dragon Slayers, today's video is Fasting for Women, Bridget's Story, Part 1. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. Let's get started. Bridget, a Type A high-tech executive, had a very demanding career. Two active teenage girls and, and an overscheduled life that never quite allowed her to relax. Stress was something that Bridget knew all too well. An avid runner, exercise was her drug of choice. She ran to keep her weight down, calm her brain, and help deal with her frantic pace of life. She, When she turned 40, she felt invincible. By 42, however, she had turned into a hot mess. The first major symptom Bridget noticed was that she started gaining weight for no particular reason, especially around her midsection. Relying on her old weight loss tricks, she tried eating less and exercising more. But that stubborn belly fat just wouldn't budge. The more she tried to exercise her way out of her new health hurdles, the more her injuries piled up. Pulled calf muscles, episodic lower back problems, and old rotator cuff injuries kept rearing their ugly heads. This new reality was making it incredibly difficult to work out. Without running, without running as a weight loss and stress management tool, Bridget fell into a deep depression. Looking for a new lifestyle tool to replace exercise, Bridget heard from a friend that she should try intermittent fasting. Being the overachiever that she was, Bridget wanted to learn everything she could about how she could master fasting. She started by skipping breakfast and putting MCT oil in her coffee to see if she could fast just a little longer. Pretty quickly, she noticed that she was getting the hang of fasting and was loving the results. Soon, she became obsessed with fasting, feeling better and better the more time she spent in a fasted state. Her mental clarity, energy, and calmness was at all-time highs. She also noticed that fasting freed up her time, killed her hunger, and gave her the same fitness results that running had. She was in love with this new fasting lifestyle. About six months in, however, Bridget started having some adverse symptoms. The first was heart palpitations. She would be sitting at her desk in the middle of the day and her heart would start racing. Knowing that her life was full of all kinds of stressors, her first thought was that her overscheduled life had, was finally catching up with her. The racing heart quickly turned into anxiety. She would have panic attacks in the middle of the day for no apparent reason. She couldn't figure out what triggered these attacks or worse yet, how to stop them. Then her sleep went sideways. She couldn't get her body to relax enough to fall asleep and would often wake up at two in the morning struggling to get back to sleep. Then one morning in the shower, she noticed clumps of her hair falling out. This continued for weeks until she had visible bald spots. Concerned, she went to her doctor who ran extensive blood work that all came back normal. Her doctor asked about her diet. Bridget told her and told and Bridget told her about her fasting regime. To her surprise, her doctor advised her to stop, pointing out that fasting wasn't good for women. This crushed Bridget. She felt stuck, depressed, and out of answers. Luckily, her friend recommended that she watch Dr. Mindy's YouTube videos on how women should fast. She was surprised to hear that there is more to fasting than just skipping meals and that women should approach fasting differently than men, varying it according to their monthly hormone fluctuations. Perhaps fasting wasn't the problem, she thought. It it's that she wasn't fasting like a girl. She hadn't been varying her fast to match the ebbs and flows of her hormones. This new information gave Bridget hope. 
And that's what I've got for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. And remember, guys, that together, you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.